home and look what came in the mail. I think it's my Noro. I think it's my Noro yarn. Do you it on the floor? I wanna put you up on my my chair. like a free pattern with this. It's so cute. Oh my god, they gave me a free pattern. It's so cute. Okay. I ordered my Noro from littleknits.com. Oh my god, guys. Okay, okay, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show it right now. show you the yarn again tomorrow morning oh we have more patterns in here okay okay this is the noro akari oh my god guys this is i think a so it is silk no way and I got this for are you for real right now guys? I got this for $33. $34. $33.69, which is $34. Silk? 26% silk. Okay, look at this color. It has green and orange and pink and purple and white. All my favorite color. Akari is light. Japanese inspired by the midnight sun it's light changing color from moment to moment stop okay it's me wait for I don't know what that is I think number four is a worsted weight that's the first one I'm so okay 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 put it on my shelf like this my cat's gonna play with this and that's I only got one of that I think I'm gonna make I'll show you later, okay. Noroito? Noroito. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the smell. It's like, it smells like wool. <laughs> I got two grams, two cakes of the Noroito, and they both, they're 37 each. 37.50. Pretty colors. Oh my god, I'm dying. Ito is also number four, I believe. Yes. Ito means both yarn and yang in Japanese. Ito is yarn reborn. What did I just say? What did I just say? This yarn, I'm planning to make like a vest. It's kind of like a tank top, but like with like opening in the front. I guess that's a vest. Um, and then with this yarn, Ito, I want to make a shrug with this like a sleeve but like knitted not crochet um, 200 grams for 80 meters and this is 200 grams also 400 meters but that's what i got from Lunets. good deal i think they have this continue colors and they always on sale these were like 25 percent off so excited i'm gonna make a swatch maybe later <laughs> i'm excited okay 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 yeah i'll link the website down below i think they still have a sale right now so better go cop them if you want so that's the haul for today i'll see you guys later bye hi guys i'm getting ready to go have lunch with my friend and i'm wearing my flower top I cropped this last night, um, basically I just took out one roll of flowers, so it's only three sets of flowers now. I think it looks really cute. I think I'll wear it more if it's cropped, so I just cropped it, and I really like it. And also I want to show you my Noro yarn. Guys, I can't even breathe right now, okay. 
the Akari in a better light. That's Akari and then Ito. These are Ito. This is a bit rough to be honest. It's not that soft. But I guess because it's wool. This is the cutest little cog in the <laughs> You can add it. Tell me when to add. You can add it. <laughs> girl behind my channel <laughs> she's the one who pushed me to vlog Aww, <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> this tiny little swatch um, just to figure out the gauge because I'm gonna try to freehand this top not freehand I'm gonna like follow the guide but I want to do it with the least amount of seams as possible so I'm gonna try to make the back piece this is a diagram okay I'll show you my diagram I'm gonna try to make like I'm gonna start from the top here and then go down, right? And then pick up stitches from the shoulders and then go down each panel. I was thinking of doing it like joining the front and the back piece and then go down like this one big piece, but then because of the yarn is variegated. Oh my god, it's not focusing again. <laughs> because the yarn is a uh, variegated yarn, so it might look funny like the top part matches and then the rest doesn't so I'm gonna try to do the back panel and then pick up stitches pick up stitches from the shoulders and see how that turn out
calculations and now it's way too big so I have to restart Guys, I tried to pop my pimple a little too aggressively last night and now I have a bruise on my nose. But anyway, anyway, okay, I'm spend my afternoon making this bandana. Bandana bandana. I feel like I have leveled up after making this. Look at how pretty. So stunning. I'm following a pattern by Nasia. Nasia, Nasia crochets. This is super fun to make. It is a different construction from me and I don't know, it's just so fun. I am probably gonna make this in so many colors. I have one more set of flowers to go. So it's gonna be like uh, three, no four in total. I think it's gonna go. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm gonna finish this last set of flowers and then update on my little vest that I'm making with my Noro yarn. This is how much I've gotten done and just look at how pretty this is giving. I don't even know what it's giving, but like this colors right here. This yarn is like soft but rough at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to play yarn chicken, so I ordered another skein, another cake, but I'm still on the first cake that I wanted up. And I'm at the part where I need to start doing increases for the armhole. So like this is, did I mention? This is the back part. I started at the back of the neck here, and then I did increases for the shoulders and then I'm going this way down top down and then I'm gonna start doing increases on both sides for the arm holes arm openings so yeah I need to figure out the math for my increases and then I'm probably gonna work on this tonight after I'm done I'm done with the bandana. Yeah, I love. Can't wait. It's so fun. I'm gonna make more. Oh, I'm using my Capri Eco cotton yarn in Sage. I think this is Sage. But yeah, this is Noro. So that's my little update. I'll see you guys later. She's looking a little stiff. I don't know how to like organize my hair. But she's like, should I cover my ear or no? Okay, I will 
find a proper way to wear this but that's the finish yourself um it's looking a little stiff right now so i'm gonna go wash it block it and then let it dry in this weather it's probably gonna take like two seconds to dry so that's how it looks right now before blocking forgot to mention i used less than a skein a ball of the capri eco cotton yarn so that's how much left so i think if you have like scraps you want to use you can definitely use it for this little banana